Limp Biscuit, chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavoured water. 15 tracks, 74 minutes. The third studio from the American New Metal or Rap Metal Band released October 2000 via Flip and Interscope Records. Produced by Terry Date, recorded at Westlake Studios in Los Angeles. Five singles were released in Take a Look Around, My Generation, Roland, My Way and Boiler. This album went to number one in at least nine countries, including the US, UK and Australia, while racking up top tens across the globe, going six times platinum in the US and Canada, four times platinum in Australia, two times platinum in the UK, as well as gold or platinum in at least seven other countries. This album sold 400,000 copies on the day of release while moving over 1 million units in its first week and was the largest first week sales for a new rock album in the US since the introduction of the Nelson Sound Scan system in 1991 at the time of its release. Dave. I cannot believe so many pro people brought this shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> uh, the title is brilliant. I have to credit that. It's a perfect indication that this is music by wankers. <laughs> 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 the first song I never thought I would get bored with the word fuck but Fred Durst really doesn't have that much to say does he the song living it up it just screams I'm a poser white boy rapper fuck off more songs with a scratchy stuttering rapping oh my god get your groove on great music that sounds like a fucking malfunctioning Atari console <laughs> With the fucking pings and what the hell is that shit? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> fuck? And of course you got the badass posing rap fucking lyrics. Fuck off! There is a bit of guitar occasionally, you know, when they're trying to be metal. They're a fucking rap, whatever you want, you want to call them. But the guitar tone is okay, but you got seven fucking strings. Learn to play them rather than your fucking drop D one finger chords. There's more to a fucking guitar than that. Listen to the fucking Dream Theater or Nevermore to see what can be done with a seven string guitar. I will give credit to one thing, and one thing only. This has made me appreciate Linkin Park a hell of a lot more. They are so, so much better at rap metal than this fucking shit. I know people who love this are going to give it 10 loving wanks out of 10, but this is going in the fucking bin. It is absolute fucking shit. I didn't think you could say anything in that review that would surprise me because <laughs> 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 we can pass better. That's it. I can see me stunned. So much. Uh, okay, follow that up. Who wants to go next to this? All right, I'll do it. All right. Oh, I'll, I, uh. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't follow that. That's impossible <laughs> to follow. Yes, it is. Yeah. But what I will say is, okay. <laughs> Brendan asked me to join his band about a year ago by the time this comes on. And at first, I had a lot going on, so I wasn't sure if I had the time to do it. But when I found out he was a Limp Biscuit fan, <laughs> I knew I made the right choice in joining his <laughs> oh, Here we go. Here we go. God damn it, I love this album. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, like, I, I think of being a kid, and, and, and this was, it was, it's, you know, watching video hits with my sister on a Saturday morning, and Rolling comes on, and it's awesome. <laughs> Like, everything about this is cool. And what I will say is, Fred Durst is better than what he gets credit for. Mm. Because the thing is, he knows... Okay, he's super limited as a vocalist, but he knows what his limits are, and he plays to his strengths. He's a super limited person. <laughs> he, is a, you know, he is super limited, but what's he good at? He's good at syncopation, and he's good at breathing. He's good at going from... Softer vocals to growling vocals and everything in between, and that's what he does, and that's what he does well. Wes Ballard is a freaking superstar. His timing is impeccable. Like everything about this is cool. I love this album. I give it an eight out of ten. The the standouts are My Way, easily. That is a great song. Take it away, Mick. <laughs> wow. Um, I guess over time I've kind of accepted what this band did at its time you know it, it was a big thing I mean oh credit we're due for the yeah, album sales you know like, like yeah. geez, you can't knock those sales you know um, and because I've heard it I guess it's disappointing um, but in spots it's actually okay when <laughs> <laughs> I hate that feeling, like, man. I hate that feeling. You know, when it kicks in and, and, and everything's going like a chorus and it's bombastic and, you know, the, the riffs are there and, and it's crunching for that whole 12 seconds that you get. <laughs> um, I enjoy that 12 seconds. <laughs> um, but you know what? Like, um, Fred... What's his fucking Fred? Durst. Durst. Fred Dick. Um <laughs> He has one of the most annoying vocals mm. ever. That smug, bad. that smug, smart ass fucking. 
Oh, you just want to punch him in the face. Fucking vocals that he does. That hey, shit that he does. <laughs> it's like, fuck, what is... You know, I like, don't know what it is. I, I never liked it then. Mm-hmm. Whatever, what was it, 2000? Yeah. Fuck, you know, whatever I was then, uh, in my 20s. Um, and, I, and I don't like it now. I just don't know how it got a grand appeal, to be oh, honest media. with you. Um, oh, media, whatever. But a lot of kids like this shit, and I, do, I don't get it, you know. I wasn't too far out of that genre, you know, in terms of age. But I, I couldn't understand how big it got to the point where The Undertaker was coming out to fucking roll what it. What the fuck? Mm. You know? He's supposed to be the Minister the of Darkness. The dead man's coming out to this fucking shit. garbage. It's like, he what the fuck? Because he wasn't the dead man at all. Get some fucking That's not fucking shit. bad. Of all the fucking songs you could pick, <laughs> to make that's a, making you American bad <laughs> arts. No, no, hey, come on. To be fair, when he continued that gimmick... American fucking gingerhead. That's what he fucking was then. He followed it up with getting Kid Rock. That Kid Rock is certainly worse than... No way. Oh, they're on par. No. 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 Kid, fucking get Kid the Rock fuck is just a little bit less fucking... shit than this. Go and look at a photo of Kid Rock and Donald other. Trump in the White House no. and tell me that Fred Durst is worse. Wow. Okay. Yes. Cody's right here, apparently. Um, right. Yeah, like I said, you know, some of the choruses are okay. The production is actually quite good for its style. Like, it is very punchy and, and, you know, modern sounding and all that, all the things that you, I guess you want out of a new metal sounding band um just there's not a lot of variance in the songs it's one song is the same song mm. the same song it's the same formula it's almost like the Linkin Park thing you're either gonna love it and if you do then not much for you to digest you can kind of just go one song fits fits all and this is another one that's like that um yeah it's just it's an era of music that I'm glad died quickly because <laughs> It was a fad fucking style, just like when rock bands and metal bands were trying to be industrial at one point, around the same time as this. All the older bands, whether it be Rob Halford or somebody yeah, or Wasp, and all these bands were yeah. trying to thinking this is the new way of going. It doesn't fucking work. You, you know, you can't mix genres. And above all that, this guy doesn't suffer fucking anything. He's trying to be a fucking guy that's had the hardest fucking upbringing and all no, this bullshit. It's, bullshit. it's like, fuck off, man. You're just a white suburban guy, all right? You don't suffer from anything. You probably went to school and never had a gun pulled down you, you know? <laughs> and all this shit that you think that's fucking going on, it's a load of crap. I don't buy it for a second. I think you're full of shit. People have called you out. And where the fuck are you now? You're doing a festival once a year. You're a garbage band. You're a fad band. And that's all you'll ever be. Um, I actually think I even rated this too fucking high. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> but I will still stick with it. I'll give it a four for some of the musical parts <clears throat> and some of the riffing when it does kick in. And it actually, you know, it actually does hit the mark, you know, like I said, for that fucking 12 seconds per song. Um, the standouts <laughs> were rolling only because... Undertaker. Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like that era of the fucking Undertaker. <laughs> All right, shit. <laughs> But that's only the reason why that song and living it up, I thought, is as shit as it is. It's got some fucked up lyrics. Yeah, it's, and, and you know, fucking like, poser. okay, like you know, whatever. I, I got to find another song, and that was it. Like, <laughs> yeah, have to. That's have to. Look, be, to be honest with you, the fucking title of this album. Yeah, what a mm. like I said, music by wankers. It's it's just fucking bullshit. You know, it's just it, this shit should never get to the heights that it did. Did. Well, it shouldn't. No. Hey, look, preach to the choir, but hey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> anyway. Right. Is this I'm everything you wanted in more? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Now <laughs> allow me to have my fucking take on this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rubbish. <laughs> fucking hell. Now, I have to say I expected an album from this band for, to make the torture process for this. I've not listened to this album for a very, very long time. And yes, I did listen to this along with a lot of other music at the same time as this came out. Other bands from this era I got into, this band can fuck off. Um, <laughs> drums and bass and guitar can play. Fred Durst can ape the English language with varying degrees of competency. The DJ does whatever it is the DJ does. The composition is overall relatively okay. When it kicks in, like you know, saying for twelve seconds, it's fun and energetic. It's pretty simple stuff overall. It's simple music for simple people. Um, <laughs> nothing to really yeah. write home about, but they do the job in that regard, quote unquote. Lyrically, however, 
This is some of the worst tripe I've ever heard. <laughs> How he can manage to rip off acts like Nine Inch Nails and Guns N' Roses yet still have absolutely nothing of any substance to say is a remarkable feat. His attempts to be insightful and emotive fall completely short. The line, if I say fuck two more times, that's 46 fucks in this fucked up rhyme, kind of sums it all up in one fell swoop. It's fucking yeah. Shakespeare. <laughs> that's really Shatner Spear. That's what the fuck that is. That's not fair. Now, clearly I'm not against foul language. I'm far from a prude in that regard, but that just smacks of thinking you throw anything down and think it'll go over. It's just pure old shit. If that's not enough for you, it happens to also be a scientific fact that Fred Durst has one of the single most annoying, whiny, bitchy little voices ever yeah. committed to mm -hmm. tape. Uh, some of these songs, like Rollin' or Live It Up, might be passable if it had any other vocal. Our Fred, the four-legged variety, has a better, <laughs> more rounded tone that regularly drops from his chocolate starfish. <laughs> <laughs> Even ripping the sample from Life in the Fast Lane is just flat out oh, annoying. Fucking wrong. Yeah. This song oh, isn't too cool. bad, but Fred Durst uh, still can't find his own style and just parrots his way through a shit impression of Cypress Hill. In all seriousness, how can he sit there spitting out hella mic skills about how he doesn't give a fuck and then proceed to whine about something someone said or did less than a minute fucking later? E the even funnier part about all that is when other rappers like Exhibit, Method Man, Red Man, etc., they really show up just how fucking terrible Fred Durst is. Yeah. They smoke him on this, and I'm not even a rap fan. They kick his ass from pillar to post, like The Undertaker should have done to this song. Um, <laughs> Jokes I am. Fred Durst is shit. <laughs> it, as opposed to Slipknot people equal shit, it should, should be Fred, Fred Durst equals equal shit. shit. Yeah. Okay, it's a long album. The track order, while diverse, doesn't hold my attention. It's up against it clearly to begin with. But production-wise, this is... Big time from the era, big sound wall, crunch compression, loudness war impacted. The surprising thing is the depth that appears on tracks like Take a Look Around. That was well done, but then they full spastic fingering sandwich on the compression and fucked that up too. <laughs> they even have different versions of the same fucking song here in one of the most head scratching decisions I've come across, and in the final 10 minute long track has gone to be one of the most pointless wastes of studio time in history. I can't think honestly of anyone, including you, that will sit through that final track all the way through from start to finish. There is a reason why this band has faded into complete relevance. The fact they are working on a new album apparently this year is quite frankly disturbing. There's only so many times you can flog a dead horse. I know I'm going to get ripped on for this and that's okay. I, I encourage it. <laughs> there are some that like this band and this is, if this is your bag then by all means you go and fucking enjoy it. Don't ever ask me to listen to this fucking thing ever again. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Cool. Brendan, oh, you sorry. win. I actually went through this twice from start to finish in an attempt to be as fair as I am on everything else. This one was torture, and this is why we do this episode at this time of year. Well played to you, sir. However, it is my solemn duty to consign this album from Limp Wristed straight to the fucking bin. <laughs> <laughs> another, another Limp Biscuit album next year. Yeah, it's here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it gets me. Bin. Bin. The bin. Yeah. Okay, I, I know not everyone likes Limp Bizkit. And that's quite funny. obviously, I really don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's kind of the joy of it, I think. Yeah. This band came out in an era when there were a, a hell of a lot of shit. shit bands. And I hated them all. For some reason, this cut through to me. And I can't even explain to you why. Corn. Yeah. 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 I know, I'd style, rather listen got... to some Corn. I would rather listen to some Ramstein. It represents almost everything I hate about music, but something about it just screams fun to me, and I just bloody well enjoy it. Okay. Um, it's been steady ro rotation in my house now for nearly 20 years. I'm not alone. There's a lot of people like it. <laughs> she loves it too. Oh, fuck. It's odd. There's something about this album that grabs me. Now, it's probably just that stupid, childish, angsty teenager that's probably jumping around inside all of us. Mm, but no. there's something about this up. that just grabs you. You grew up. I chose should. not to, and that's fine. I'm not trying Welcome to tell to you it's the best folks. thing ever. This thing is bloody good fun. If you've ever been to a Limp Bizkit gig, and I've got to assume that none of you have. Yeah, I've seen them. They have yeah. festivals and stuff. They I've are actually... fucking good fun. Yeah. They, I was they, going they, to, but they pulled out. The pe <laughs> Hence well, Limp Bizkit. Yeah, well, <laughs> they they do a very, very good job, and a lot of people there that are in, in the crowd know what they're there for, and they're having a good time. It is a That's fun okay. experience. I'm not trying to tell you it's musically brilliant. I'm not trying to tell you it's educational, because it sure as <laughs> shit is not. 
What I'm saying is it smile and makes me move when I listen to it. Granted, I'm probably moving like a dickhead, but again, I don't care. It's good fun. I enjoyed it. So for the record, I gave Use Your Illusion an 8. I give this a 9. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. I'll play that. The highlights for you. Take a look around. My generation. Roll and live it up. Boiler. And hold on. And now for your enjoyment, Fucking here's hell. a track for you to check out for yourselves and let us know what you think. <laughs> Limp Biscuit, who wants to go first on Limp Biscuit? Me! Brendan's gonna go last. Fuck yes. You've been waiting for this. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Torture finally pays off. Well, you two are just fucking having a fly play. Yeah. They're really in love. That was the idea, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Ready? <laughs> Axel's a much better that's rapper a, than that's this a guy. Good review for <laughs> <me>. <laughs> that's awesome. If you're going in order, I'm out. Alright, do we want to stop to eat? Yep. Yeah, let's eat. Oh, yeah. Let's eat. Oh, fuck, that's going. <laughs> <laughs>